So I'm yeah. here with Alexandros T. Great, and he's going to show me a couple of his ships. Um, he was actually in my surfboard already, so I didn't know where he was. <laughs> oh, who's this? What's this? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the uh, last ship from the last video. Right then, so let's spawn his stuff and uh, get into it. He's brought the Heron Carrier in for me to look at. And as you can see, the Heron Carrier is pretty big and uh, contains lots of little ships. So these ships look pretty tasty as well. They don't look like little things. This is really nice. But this is the interior of the carrier and uh, we're just going to have a quick look inside the cockpit. So as you can see, he's got a very basic interior, just got a few computers, cameras, and so on. Let's have a look down here. There's the core. Nice, thick armor, by the looks of it. Got for a solid construction. Okay, so that's nice and simple. Okay, so now we're going to go out back on the board and we're going to do the weapons test. But Alexandros's carrier comes in at uh, 73,000 mass, nearly eight, nearly 74,000 mass. It's 237 meters long, 55 meters high, 126 meters wide. Um, the thrust is 76,000, is that right? Yeah, 76,000 thrust and 73 yeah, 74,000 mass okay the total power is oh, I'm trying not to read this wrong 22 million and then the recharge is 414,000 uh, sorry 400 yeah 414,000 no I'm wrong okay the energy recharge is 4.1 million actually 4.1 million per second total shields 4.8 million with a recharge of 51,000 uh, 51, per second. Recovery time 5. Impressive stats. Yeah, that is a serious... That is serious. <laughs> I guess it's solid. It's brute forced so that it passes the limits. I like the detail you've used here as well, Alex. It's really good. So uh, let's just jump out of this weapons computer. Oh boy, where am I? It's put me under here. Uh, right, so I've asked him to get the ship in position. Everyone takes place, by the way, 300 meters. It's not just arbitrary. Uh, it's a 200 meter long block, so that means there should be 100 meters in front of him. Oh mate, you didn't overcook it, did you? Uh, uh... Okay, his core is a little bit further away. We're going to have to modify it. How long is your ship? He's going to have to add a bit of distance on. 237. Need to add... Mm, 150. So... Oh dear, I, I hate that. I thought I was still in the chat. Reverse... To, let's see, it's 300, 450, 450. Here comes single shot. So, a single shot. What we've got here is an even spread, very tight as well. And let's see, how many is that? Hold position, please. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty block penetration off a click. Okay, one second pulse. Here we go. One second. It's an interesting second. <laughs> you can see, but uh, yeah. You can see the damage it did in real time, so that was perfect. Um, it was quite nice. Lots of penetration and even. It's because of the shape. As he's got an even, you know, you've got a box there. But uh, interestingly, because he's got two on there, look, have a look at this pattern here from this side. The X. Got an X being traced from. Because you've got the, this, this coming in this way. And then the other side, the other bank, running vertically in line, going that way. 
but then they all train in on one point. So that's why you end up with that pattern. It's a very accurate simulation, it's great. You know, it's just tracing lines through blocks, but it just, it works really well. Okay, sustained test fire. Here it comes. Let's see him chew through to the core. There it goes. It seemed to get stuck for a while. So this is the problem with a wide spread. Because the further you go, the wider the spread. And therefore it has to chew through the side walls of the funnel to make it longer. So the wider is this what this is the problem with the hailstorm. <laughs> so he's firing and they're powerful guns. But very little of it is actually making it. Come on, he's nearly there. He's nearly there. He's nearly there. Come on, just one little bit more. Just a little bit more. Oh, two blocks. He's one block away, it looks like. You can see it opening up, opening up, opening up, and then eventually it'll just smack through the other side. There. And then it should go to uh, Dumbfire. Boom. That's through, and it's gone to Dumbfire. Right. Now I will save it. There we have it. And you can see that. Look at that H. There's an H shape which is crossing inwards. What an interesting position, yeah. <laughs> Every pattern is unique. Well, that's another strong pattern. Not the best for penetration, but certainly powerful. Very good, look at that. Rip fire. And as you can see, this is something else, because he's when he, if he's gonna move his target around, it's gonna do that first impact. It's drilling that's hard for him. It's the first impact that this type of design is best with. As you can see, when he touches it, it does good damage, but as soon as you try to drill in, you end up shooting past yourself and you lose a lot of power. So yeah, this is best for scooping scooping out in a single hit. I don't know, I hope you guys can see this too. The idea of doing these videos is so that you can draw your own conclusions from the performance of the weaponry on the ships I'm looking at. Because obviously if you can see what I'm finding, then you can judge for yourself. The rocket hit there, see the rockets, there's just nothing compared to the guns right now. So yeah, you can see where the hits are going in. It's causing the damage. It's getting kind of hard to see now because there's so much damage now. Kind of looks like Godzilla riding a rocket. Do you guys see that? I'm probably just a bit mental. <laughs> All right. Hold fire. Okay. So yeah, you can see that a lot of damage can be done in a very short space of time with this particular weapon. Uh, thanks very much for showing me this ship. I think he might have another one for me to see. So thanks for watching this video and uh, please check out the next one. Um, and I'll see you again soon.